Hey, how's it going? It has been two weeks since the release of Mystic and now we have Awakening available. So in today's video, I am going to take you from the start right through to the end of the quest line, showing you how it's done. Now, there is a little bug within this quest line which had me scratching my head for a short while, but I figured it out, so I will go through that exactly when I come to it. So. Stick with me throughout the video because you may be suffering from this bug as well. They may have patched it in the recent patch. I don't know. It's impossible for me to check because I have just done the quest line. Anyway, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because subscribing to me means that you will not miss out on any of the latest news, tips, tricks, and all that other stuff. So hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Okay, so to begin with, Mystic Awakening, to begin the quest, you need to be level 56, so make sure you are at that level 56, otherwise you may experience problems with this process. If you are 56, however, then uh, summon the Black Spirit. The Black Spirit will advise you that the Mystic questline starts over in Olvia, so we will need to make our way over to Olvia to begin this questline. When you get to Olvia, you'll need to speak with Trade Manager Lolly. And in typical quest style, you speak to one NPC, they tell you to go and speak to another NPC. Now, this is absolutely fantastic if you're following the story, but if you're like me and don't give a damn, then this is kind of tedious. Anyway. So Lolly directs you to go speak with Kyrio, the fisherman who is sat on the beach. You'll be asked to swim out to a specific spot in the Belenos Islands, and there you'll need to actually dive under the water in order to do this next section. So you'll speak to, I guess, the ship, um, or the energy of a sunken ship, I don't know. Either way, what you have to do here is that you need to just interact with the ship, gaining the knowledge of whatever it is that this is talking, I don't know. It's just, yeah, you just interact, you spend your energy, you get the info, you complete the quest. Super simple. Once you complete this quest, you will be given three more quests to do. So accept all three of these quests because you don't want to be coming back and forth. Do all of them at once. Now, the next step is to traverse right across the map because you need to go to three places. You need to go to the soldier's graveyard. You need to go to Main's hideout and you need to go to Hazra Ancient Ruins. When you get to the skeleton graveyard, what you have to do is kill skeletons. When you get to Hazra Ancient Ruins, you have to kill ancient weapons. And when you get to Mains Hideout, you have to kill Mains. It's pretty simple. Easy, easy quests. And these will take you no more from start to finish, all three, about 15 minutes. 
Once you've completed all three of those quests, you need to be heading south of Abandoned Iron Mine to Splashing Point. This is where you turn in these quests. When you get to Splashing Point, you'll need to swim out to a small rock with a swelling kind of watery vortexy thing, which goes by the name of Banner. This is where you turn in the three quests which you have just completed. By handling these three quests, you will be rewarded with your awakening weapons and you will now be awoken. So the next stage of the quests is to do a kind of a, a training sort of exercise thing to get you used to basically nothing. It basically tells you how to switch from one state to another. Which, if you've done this before, you're pretty used to. Now, one thing you need to do, which, like a Muppet, I didn't do and was struggling to figure out what the problem was. You need to equip your awakening weapon. Because if you don't do that, you won't be able to do this. And this took me longer than is reasonable to realise that I had not done this. As you can imagine, I felt incredibly embarrassed. So pressing L2 plus R2 followed by triangle will complete the first part of the quest for you. The next quest is the one that has the bug in. And this is what took me a minute or two to realize what is going on. So the next quest is asking you again to press L2 and R2. And this is where you may struggle. The reason for this is that L2 plus R2 doesn't give you elbow edge. In fact, L2 and R2 is Tidal Burst. The problem is we don't want Tidal Burst right now. We want elbow edge. Because someone didn't check their work. Pearl Abyss, hello! Proofreading! Anyway. So all you need to do, instead of pressing what it tells you to press, you need to press L2 and R1. So after this you can just complete the quest as normal. Essentially at this point the quests are done, so you are now in your awakened state, you have new skills, you have new weapons, which I will talk about in just one minute. Um, there is one thing that you can do now. Um, there is a quest which is given by the Black Spirit, which is called the Event Gift of Skill Reset. So grab that. It will give you the means of resetting all of your skill points if you feel like you have made um, an unwise decision when it comes to allocating your skill points. So grab that and save it for when you're ready to use it, essentially. Now, the weapons that you get, um, the Awakening weapons are the Cestus, and you get two weapons when you complete the Awakening quest. There is the plus 10 Camelam Cestus, and there is the... And then there is the Bassanawa Cestus. The Camelam Cestus is the green weapon, and the Bassanawa Cestus is the blue weapon. The blue weapon comes unupgraded and the green weapon comes with plus 10. Now the difference in these weapons is that the green weapon is more specialised on doing extra damage to all species. But the amount of damage that is output is um, lower than the blue. For example, at plus 10, when you do a comparison like for like, you lose 5 AP from the green to the blue and the the difference in the item effects is that the green gives you seven damage to all species whereas the blue gives you nine damage to humans so ultimately it depends on what and where you're going to be killing if you are looking at more of a pvp kind of direction or you're only going to be fighting humanoid mobs then the blue weapon is the weapon for you if you 
are just grinding and you're grinding a myriad of different types of mobs, then the green may be the route to go. With the green having plus 10, it makes it um, a little bit more accessible than the blue, but with uh, it's only a small amount of effort to upgrade the blue one. Um, so my choice is go blue, but I will leave that up to you. Anyway, that is pretty much all I can think of to talk about in relation to the Mystic Awakening. I hope you found this useful. Please let me know if you've not yet done the Awakening quest and you do the Awakening quest, is that bug that I described earlier still in the game? Because shortly after the main patch, they released a small patch that they described as bug fixes, but they didn't specify what. So I would like someone to tell me if this still persists so that I can just update this guide at the beginning or in the description. So if you could do that, that would be absolutely awesome. I would appreciate it. No end. Anyway, guys, if you have watched this far, I hope that this has been of some value to you and this has not just been left on autoplay or something. Um, but if you have, then I hope I've earned your subscription. Please hit that like button, leave me a comment, and I will see you in the next video.